Hello and welcome to Know Your Faith series. I am Collins and on today's episode, we'll be talking about the vocation of the lay faithful. Now, among the faithful, we have those who have received the sacrament of the Holy Order, who form the hierarchy of the church, and the others are referred to as the lay faithful. Basically, the non-religious, per se, are those who are referred to the lay faithful. That is you and me if you fall into that category. And, you know, there is... Oh, there's an ideology or there's a thought that, you know, because we have the religious, we have the priests, the reverend sisters, the bishops and all those, they are the ones who are just meant to, you know, carry out uh, um, the gospel or do only spiritual things and we are just, we're just supposed to go and you know, listen to them and keep it. And on another episode, we talked about how, how, how important it is to spread the gospel even as a lay faithful. So in today's episode, I'll be giving you the rules of the lay faithful. So the first is we see, and we see this even in First Peter two five, is a call to holiness, which refers to offering a spiritual sacrifice that is acceptable to God through Christ. And we should do this every day in our lives and in the lives of the of the other people that we meet. Now, even in our parishes, we have what we what we call the parish laity council, and it's basically made up of societies or presidents and secretaries of each society and they come together to form the PLC Council and their role is basically simple. First of all, they try as much as possible to support the pastor of the church in whatever means necessary. Their essential role, of course, is to bring uh, the spirit of Christ into the areas of our secular lives and it starts from the smallest areas, from the families. So even being a lay faithful, it is your duty as a parent, you know, as a brother, as an elder sibling, to try as much as possible to spread the gospels to the people that you can. Another rule is that they act every day as ministers of the faith, which basically backs up the previous one. So meaning that in your everyday life, you must try as much as possible to still show everyone that you're a Christian and you're one who actually practices the faith. It's not just by word, but also by word and deed. The third rule is that they partake in some of the sacred rituals of the church. Of course, in the Catholic Church, we have the lay faithful taking part, a huge part in the Mass. So it's not just the priests. We have the lectors who take the readings at Mass. We have the altar servers, those who help out the priest on the altar, the choirs, the church weddings, and a whole lot. So we can see that they are a huge part or a huge part of the church and not just some, you know, floor members. So we are all called to come to try as much as possible to contribute towards the spiritual growth of the church. So that's it for today's episode. I hope that you've been able to understand that even as a lay faithful, you can, as much as you can, spread the gospel and share it wherever you are through your words and your deeds. If you know any other rule that I probably did not mention, please feel free to add in the comment section. Continue to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Adamican Media Presents on YouTube. And until I come your way next time, be bold and be Catholic.